Greetings, my name is Ismael Delgado. I'm with the Veterans Business Outreach Center, and I'm also a veteran. Today I'll be your presenter for Module 4, Business Budgeting and Bookkeeping. Module 4 Objectives. What we'll be looking at today is determining functions of record keeping and responsibilities. We'll review and outline federal and state record keeping requirements. Functions of record keeping. They help monitor the progress of the business, keeping track of the activities and transactions taking place on a daily basis. Record keeping also helps identify sources of receipts, keeps track of deductible expenses such as payroll. Functions of record keeping also help with the preparation of financial statements which we'll look more into detail later on. They help prepare and support item reported on tax returns. Other reasons used when requesting a loan, bidding for a job, or requesting bonding. Now let's look at the responsibilities of record keeping. Responsibilities may be delegated to an employee. However, an owner should always stay involved and know what's going on in their business. The owner is responsible for conducting a thorough investigation of all the business transactions taking place in the business. At the end, it is your business and you should be responsible of knowing exactly what's going on in your business. While you might delegate certain responsibilities to employees, at the end of the day, the responsibility to know what's going on in your business lies back to the owner. Some of the things that uh, record keeping does for a business owner is keeps tracks of sales, inventory, contracts, permits, etc. Know that, however, these responsibilities can be delegated to a professional for a fee. These professionals can be bookkeepers, tax preparers, accountants, or CPAs. Budgets and bookkeeping. Let's look at this. It generates additional sources of capital through partnership and investment. Dangers of undercapitalization will be discussed in the workbook series. Compliance with payroll tax protocols. Payroll tax deposits, quarterly payroll tax returns, and W-2 forms. Submission of sales tax paid every quarterly. Distribution of profit for partners involved in an LLC or LLP business structure. Distribution of corporate profits if firms is publicly traded, such as dividends. Items to keep and record. Sales and revenue transactions, such as sales invoices, daily cash register totals, daily cash sheets, daily sales registers. Basically, what we're doing is recording all the transactions that are taking place on a daily basis. For example, sometimes you might deal with credit, sometimes you might deal with cash. You need to record, just as you record your cash transactions, your credit transactions. For example, your accounts receivable. You might have sold an item or a service, but you sold it on credit and you haven't gotten paid. That needs to be accounted in accounts receivable, meaning someone owes you money and it's noted as an accounts receivable. That's a record that needs to take place. Or else you, le you lose track from all your activities and you don't know who owes you what and how much. Same tokens, accounts payable. This is money that you owe, such as your rent, your insurance, operating expenses, uh, maybe your suppliers or vendors. These are accounts payable that you need to pay on a monthly basis. Keeping track of those as well are extremely important. In summary, all your transactions need to be recorded in one way or another. Record types. Business budgets templates. There are many organizations out there that have online templates that a small business can use. They can download them and use them as a template for their business purposes. Keeping in mind that templates are exactly that, just templates. You might have to tweak them to the needs of your business. You might have certain line items that perhaps that template might not have, and you might have to add to that template. 
Your income statement, that's a type of record that you keep records of. Your income statement, statement of financial results, sometimes referred to a P&L or profit and loss statement. Your balance sheet, statement of financial position. And we'll be talking more about balance sheets in just a minute. Record types, there's cash flow statements. It keeps a record of your cash flow activities, the ins and outs of the money that's coming in and the money that's going out, as well as reconciling with your um, P&L statement. Day books, daily transactions involving such things such as sales, credit sales, purchases, purchases, credits, and cash. Another record type is petty cash, special use for small purchases, such as buying coffee for the employees, or a gift basket for someone that's retiring. Ledgers, ledgers are also extremely important. They record sales, purchases, and general items, or activities and transactions. These are important abbreviations to consider. Keep in mind, it's not required that you know accounting. You don't need to be an expert, but understanding the basics is going to take you a long way. You will be expected to keep track of your business financial information, though. It's important as a business owner that you know what's going on, the money that's coming in from revenues and the money that's going out from expenses. You can either do it yourself manually or through using software, or hire someone to do it for you. Bookkeeping versus accounting. Bookkeeping is nothing more than the process of recording financial transactions. That's it. Whatever happened during the activity of the day, any operational activities that required a transaction of money going in or money coming out, is recording those financial transactions. This responsibility of maintaining the day books, purchase, sales, income, and payments. Again, money that comes in, such as purchases, the sales, income, and payments. Okay? Bookkeeping protocol uses both single and double entry methods. At this point, what we need to know is that there's two types of bookkeeping, single or double entry. Bookkeepers are entrusted to prepare the books for the trial balance stage. Part of the bookkeeping process, whether it's single or double entry, the, the bookkeeper is entrusted in preparing the books for the trial balance stage. Accounting, on the other hand, is a system of gathering financial information about the business. So in bookkeeping, you noted the transactions, you kept record. In accounting, it's about gathering the financial information about the business. Accountants create the balance sheet and income statement from the trial balance documents. There are six major steps or duties for accounting. First one is to analyze. Second one is recording of what's taking place. Third one is classifying what category is this recording going to be put on summarizing the data, reporting the data, and interpreting. What does this mean? What is the performance? After all the work and operations of the business, is the interpretation is the ultimate goal. Where do you stand in your income statement? Were you profitable? You know, how's your cash flow position and your balance sheet? What's your financial position? Basic accounting terms. Items in business accounts are classified into five different groups or elements. First one is the balance sheet accounts. These are classified into assets, liabilities, or equity. We'll look at this in more detail shortly. An income statement is nothing more than your revenues and your expenses. So the basic elements of accounting you have resources that you have access to, and those are your total assets. 
on your left hand side. And on your right hand side you have your claims comprised of your total liabilities, equity, or capital. Now your liabilities are such as the equipment that you own in your business, but you got that equipment from a loan from a bank and you're still paying on it. And your equity is all your resources that are free and clear from any liability. A combination of liabilities and your equity or capital equals to your assets. Bookkeeping systems. We mentioned earlier there's single entry bookkeeping as well as double entry bookkeeping. In summary, it's important to understand the value of record keeping. Whether you're recording a transaction that took place in business operations or keeping track of all your assets and equipment in, a, in your business. The value of record keeping cannot be underestimated and the value of what it provides to you as a business owner of keeping record of what's taking place. At the end of the day, the end of the game is to be profitable in your business operations. Here are some resources that can further help you with the process of understanding record keeping and, and accounting. With this, we conclude this module's presentation. Thank you for your participation. And remember, we're the Veterans Business Outreach Center, housed at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Thank you.